Great morning, YouTube. It is my birthday. And for my birthday, Sean has a special surprise for me. It's gonna be so fun. I took some clients this evening. May or may not continue with that. We'll see how I feel. Woke up at 5.30 a.m. this morning when I had Keto Max before bed last night. This stuff keeps you rolling. What are we doing? You'll find out when we get there. It's much easier to vlog when you're not driving. It's the dog cafe, guys. We're going to the dog cafe. Parking in Los Angeles is never an easy thing and we're in the like fashion arts district so it's quite popular and this is how the car is parked. This is, this is the door and like a pillar. So obviously I'm not driving, Sean is, but she has to get in kind of creatively to the car. For my birthday, we had to go somewhere special for at least a snack. We're somewhere super special. It happens to be right next to the dog cafe. I know what you're thinking. I come here too much, but that's just not possible. At this bulletproof coffee shop, there's no full kitchen. It's all like to-go stuff. So they've got like meatloaf, breakfast burritos with a coconut tapioca flour tortilla. They've got uh, like a cauliflower rice breakfast burrito. So it's like low carb, which is awesome. And they have scones. The episode that you guys saw the other day at the Bulletproof Coffee Shop was actually the Santa Monica location. This is the downtown LA one. So let's give you a little tour. Okay, bye Bulletproof. Bye. Pit stop at the gas station on the way down to Orange County and I'm running in to grab Sean some ice and some water because she is passing out in the car. She's so tired because all she had was that scone. She didn't have any like protein or fabs, just straight carbs. So her glucose is just mm. Thank you. We're back in Irvine. Sean is reasonably awake, I'm reasonably asleep, so we're gonna change that. Carb comas are real. Between the cake last night that Sean made me, which was a little bit carbohydrate heavy, having a bunch of that cocoa whip that I haven't had since February of this year, and having that burrito earlier with coconut and tapioca flour, so not super carb heavy, but like just a lot of out of the ordinary things for me. Normally it's like vegetables and meat and some avocado. I crashed so hard when we got to the house for about a 30 minute nap, power nap. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna cancel my clients for the rest of the day because I really don't know if they're gonna see me at my best. And I decided against that. I am going to see my clients. and I'm gonna have an awesome day. I don't see them for the money. I see them for the pleasure. I'm really excited that I can work with them on my birthday. If I've learned anything from my other Scorpio ancestors and my family whose birthdays are this month, it's that you don't work hard because you have to, you work hard because that's who you are and that's what you do. No matter how bad I feel, I committed to seeing these people today and I'm gonna make that happen if I can. It is my birthday, although the real birthday festivities don't begin until this weekend, uh, I do have a long standing tradition of something called the birthday workout, which I'm gonna do today. And any client that sees me around my birthday does. What is the birthday workout? 
Not, Are you ready for the birthday workout? Not in your lifetime. The rule with the birthday workout is anytime you have a difficult exercise, you have easy cardio, but you're constantly rotating back and forth, and then vice versa, right? So if there's a hard exercise, easy cardio. If there's hard cardio, it's an easy exercise. Working, working. Don't go all the way up. It's my turn. Birthday workout done.